Hey everyone, Lord Mako here. And um This is the this is my run for the new event, Red Comet. Uh, the Shin Ryu stage at least. So let's begin. Uh, right off the bat, it's basically um well this event is just catered towards Terra. You can't launch them, you you can't stun them, you can't put any element weakness down on them. Uh well not them, at least. Uh any elements that you that, that you know any elemental damage that you do will always be a one. And um They're not resistant to physical or I mean they're not yeah, they're not resistant of any physical or range or anything, but um so you can still bring Titus, it's just that uh this run is basically to uh, to kill your cam cane, you know, Titus or whoever else uh run basically. Or maybe Cam Kane and uh Makina. Makina is too viable, you just can't launch them, so it's quite a chunk of his damage right? uh, that is gone at least. Uh, I mean, the same could be said for any of the characters, it's just that uh, because you can't launch them, um, yeah, it's, it, your, your damage really drops off. You don't really, you, you think that it won't be much, but uh, <laughs> it's quite significant. <laughs> I have a normal burst terror, I don't have her. I, I did not green her, so. Um, you 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 only see me use uh, burst pluses on Zack and Kane. Uh, my Terra will still just be no doing normal burst. So I'm pretty sure if you have a you have a burst plus Terra, then uh, this should be a kick walk for you if you're running as it can come. So my com is basically very very obvious. Kane is just there to do often damage with Terra, and Zack is Zack is just there to tank basically. I am trying out another team for the dead to defy, but if I really cannot find another, you know, a, a viable option, then I might just bring this team in and just, uh, you know, clear the stage. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I might wait for the next one just to really see if I can, um, like how 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 uh, difficult is the next stage? Because for me, this stage is actually quite annoying because of uh, how much brave gain the bosses have, especially during their uh, first time. And uh, yeah, it's only honestly it's only that the the, the problem is that um it's, it's quite difficult to 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 prevent their first time. That's what I'm trying to say. It is possible, I'm sure, but uh, yeah. Because um, if I were to run someone that can you know charge the gauge faster, then uh, I would not have uh, the often damage. Or if I do bring someone that, that does often damage, then I would not have anyone that has burst. You know, un unless I bring Kane on it, obviously. Because my Terra is just, you know, base, you know, just the, the, the blue base, the blue burst. It, she is not, uh, her, her, her burst weapon is not limit broken at all. Uh, it's not because I don't like Terra or anything, it's just that, uh, I think when she came out, there was someone else that I wanted to burst plus. Either that or that I didn't have the resources, and now I do, but I saw that the next... Uh, banner is um, oh, I'm blanking on her name again. Uh, the girl from uh, Crystal Chronicles, right? Uh, right at the bottom. Let me, let me just take a look. Let me take a quick look. Uh, Sholata, yeah, yeah. She's she's gonna get her burst soon, and I think that I will try and burst plus her. I'm not sure yet because she is really close to uh, Luna for you. And that's one character that I'm definitely going to bust plus. You know, what being her in, uh, you know, she's being in fi in 15 and everything. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'll definitely bust plus her. Also of how, because of how strong she is. It's, it's, it's crazy. She's like the uh, up updated Yuna. <laughs> A lot of people are going to be mad that I say that, but yeah. You know, Summoner. Say, very similar I would say. Huh? Right? <laughs> Both in your wedding dress, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> so yeah, um, Sholata is coming up next, so I'm, I might, I might actually want to save my burst plus ingots for her. So annoying, I can't, uh, I can't use Terra's own burst weapon to uh, upgrade or let me break her current one. But yeah, uh, so uh, these bosses, their flame throw doesn't do much if they, if they are broken. Most of the time, they are doing zeros, or if not, then you'll be very little. The only issue is, you'll see really soon actually, that when uh, they go into their first time, after they do a, a move, they actually gain a lot of brave. So, yeah, that, that's, that's actually really annoying. Uh, yeah, you'll see right here actually. Uh, there we go, 54k. 
And uh, of course, there's no issue for Zack, he can just tank everything. He's a zero health, but not an issue for him. So look at that, after 54, it jumped to 77, and then jumped again to 88. So you definitely need some form of Brave Shaving, some form of Poison, you know, some way to actually take it. Bring bring that, 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 that absurd Brave down, basically. So um, I'm not sure who I'll run for my uh, Defy Quest uh, party com. I am guessing I will need a tank, but I was actually thinking of running Bash. It's just that uh, there's no damage for that for that particular team comp. I also brought uh, Fairies for her poison, and also for her uh, enchanting dance. I believe I can't remember what's the debuff called. Uh, so when they uh, you know after they, they they do their move and they they have some sort of brave gain, she will just bring bring it down to zero. So that's really nice for this fight. Hey, actually, I can I can consider bringing her into the party, right? <laughs> no, but she, as, you, as you guys just saw, she was doing uh, ones, I believe, and it's because uh, she has water enchant or water dam water elemental on her um, on her skills, I think. So that's the reason why uh, she's doing one. So yeah, do not bring any um any elemental type uh, characters. And honestly, I'm. Th this is pretty much it. If you if you have no issues with the force time, if you have no issues tanking out the force time, you have no issues cancelling out the force time, then uh, you know, this this fight is a breeze for you. Uh, you can just bring whoever you want. Honestly, uh, if you don't have Terra, then a very good replacement would be Titus. It's just that I'm not sure who. Uh, I'm not sure if you really want to use Titus for the Defy quest. I mean, this is a good spot to put for put him, I guess. But um, I, I just want to see who else is um. What other bosses is coming out for the for the other four more, I believe? Yeah. And it kind of making us pull for, for, for the for the Defy quest because um if you don't you don't have enough force, then it's really difficult. I won't say impossible but it's just difficult to clear all of the quests. So yeah, you know. It's kind of making us but not really at the same time. <laughs> so yeah. I, I don't know. I'll 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 pull for some of those that I'm really interested in. I'm not so sure in, uh, about the next one, uh, I believe it's uh, Fujin. I think uh, the next uh, FR is Fujin, I'm not sure whether I want, I want to pull for her or not. But yeah, uh, honestly these bosses, I think it is possible to do it without uh, force weapons as well. Um, you would just need like, really strong meta characters. Yeah, the only issue is you can't launch them, so it might put some uh, you know, quite a bit of strain to your party members also uh, Terra's force is to um, deal magic damage and the other condition is quite similar to Tidus where you take uh, continuous turns in a row so yeah that's the reason why Terra is able to uh, increase the force gauge by so much there we go enchanting does I am right so uh, Kane doing massive work with his uh, 1 million I, it, I believe that was 1 million right uh, let's take a look at it again I, I, I believe that was 1 million damage Per uh, move, not including the uh, uh, two, four, six. Yeah, one million. So yeah, I mean, Kane is such a good often damage dealer now. Uh, and all they had to do was just give him one more HP down. <laughs> it's insane. But yeah, um, so even if you're not running Tyra, even if you're running Tidus, uh, this still should work because Tidus is also non-elemental. Uh, you might want to run Kane with him if you're just trying to clear this quest. You might also want to run Kane with him just to really abuse the fact of, of uh, you know, how often Tyler takes his turns. And then maybe a tank somewhere here, you know, just, just to just to make sure that the party members leave this. Leave this fight basically. <laughs> uh, I believe you can use Layla. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's a guaranteed hit. Let me just take a quick look at that. Uh, Ability. I think um, the flamethrower is a uh, is a guaranteed hit. The one that um, triggers at the first time. Let me take a look. Cut in order. Oh yes, uh, it cuts in order at uh, 79 and 49. Basically, the two thresholds. Uh, Yeah, begins increasing brave after turn. There's the buff that you keep seeing. You know, it keeps increasing its brave more and more. And um, the other, uh, 
action change, uh, use the following ability during force time energy can blast. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed hit. So, thinking about it, Layla is actually a really good choice now. Because um, Odin 1 was a guaranteed hit, so there's no point bringing Layla. I believe the the next one was um, the also last one. I can't remember whether that was a guaranteed hit, but also last one was kind of a pushover. So it's really just this fight. Um, I might consider bringing Layla because uh, since it takes so many turns in a row, right? Uh, someone like Layla might actually work out. She will just bring Terra forward, and then Terra can just cancel out that that um that first time. Yeah, you know, now that I think about it, it's actually a really good uh, option. I'm just not sure who to bring along with Terra. I'm thinking Core, because there's no point waiting for Core's FR to do this quest. I believe uh, the, the quest will be over when his FR is out. Uh, again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when does the event end. Uh, let me just take a quick look. Um, did they even say? Uh, event commence between... July to August and I believe that's the end of it. Uh, 24th is out. Yeah, it honestly did not say um, when they will close this event so uh, it might be possible to wait for um, for Kor. Uh, but Kor is pretty late in. He's just before the of it. Somewhere in September I believe. Like um, late September. So yeah, anyway guys. um. I'm just gonna end a commentary right here. There's really nothing much else to say other than just to be careful of them when they're in their first time. And this that can the same can be said for any of the bosses. But yeah, it's it's really just the first time. The other skills that they have, the other moves that they have, they're all really um, nothing to be very afraid of. Uh you actually see me use Terra's burst. Um, <laughs> not really proud of it, but uh hey. Pretty decent damage considering the fact that it's not a burst plus. Uh, for uh, you know, it's not it's not a burst plus basically. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Yeah. 